Hey, what's up guys? Bearcat here with another exciting episode of Bearcat Reviews. And today we are going to be re reviewing the Figma My Hero Academia Izuku Midoriya. I'm hoping I said that right in the book trip. Um, or Midoriya Izuku, depending on where you're, how you say it. Sometimes people say the last name first. Uh, I'm from America, so we say the first name first. <laughs> Anyways, or family name, excuse me. Um, so as you can see here, here he is in the box. Uh, he's the 323rd product they've ever made. Uh, My Hero Academia logo here, Figma Max Factory Action Figure Series is what it says here. Uh, here's his name and the group where he's from. On the side here we got a product shot of him, number here. On the back we got some product shots here with some more warnings in multiple languages and then advertisement in multiple languages and then down here some more information in Japanese. And so on the fifth side we got another product shot, number 323. Top product shot, number show logo, Figma. Same on top and the bottom are the same except for this barcode on the bottom. And that's about it for the box. So let's get to it and crack open Midoriya. So here is Deku out of the packaging. And I gotta say, this is a really good Figma. I love it. It looks exactly like Deku. Uh, Deku is a superhero name, in case you, for those of you who do not know. Um, yes, I have watched parts of the show, and I've been trying to keep up with it. Uh, my buddies at college were like, I was like, oh, I need a good show to watch. You guys have any recommendations? They're like, yeah, I watched this. I was like, all right, I watched it. I started to love, fall in love with it. Uh, it's a very good show. I've enjoyed a lot about it. I thought it was an interesting dynamic how everyone, all, all but 20% of the world's population has superpowers. I was like, that's interesting. Especially if you think about, like, Marvel's X-Men. It's like, oh, this is the exact opposite <laughs> of how the X-Men work. But anyways, getting into that, you will see there's assembly required. It says you have to put on his uh, mouth guard when you get him out of the packaging. And I am obviously using one of his accessories currently because he does not like to stand on his own. As most of ones don't. At least... On my set, they don't. Um, so I'm using his stand extender and his stand to help him stand. Uh, and so as you can see out of the box, he's got this nice smiley face, which is pretty classic for him. And he's got two fisted hands. And then, but we'll move on to his other accessories. Unlike some Figmas, he doesn't come with a whole lot of accessories, but that doesn't limit how much fun you can have with it. So uh, here's one of them, which is this like sad, like worried, scared face. With the little quivering lip, which I think is funny. And I props to Figma again, because they always make these things look so anime accurate. It looks exactly like Midoriya. I mean, you can even see with the smiley faces, the little freckles and stuff. It's like, it's like oh, they made him look exactly like the little cinnamon roll he is in the show. But going right along here, and then we have this classic angry battle pose face, which is one I like. To use is fine. Out of the box, he does come with two fisted hands. Um, but as you can see here, like all other figure models, he does come with other hands. He comes with two open hands. He comes with two hands which have holes in them, I'm assuming, so he can hold something, even though he doesn't come with anything to hold it. And a flicking hand, because he's famous for doing this special move where he flicks and shoots Air Force at you. But, so moving on to the pose. Oh, and of course, almost forgot this accessory. Of course, the classic accessory all Figmas come with, a little Figma bag and an extra wrist peg in there. And then I obviously wrote Deku on it. So I can know which one's which with all the other bags I have of Figmas. But moving on here to supposability. So as you can see, to remove, to do a face swap, you just have to pull off the hair. And then you just, I can get it. Let's go. Wiggle a little bit. There we go. Let's pull off its face, and it's ah! a little nightmare there. But uh, as you can see here, it makes you see the joints easier. There's a ball joint with a little peg in there to help with this head movement. So it'll pop back on the little smile. Come on, and the hair. Now that I've shown you that. Well, now that I think about it. He looks like Shinso. Shin. Shin. I'm trying to pronounce the name, but I'm very, very bad at pronouncing it. Shinso. Was well, just with the green instead of purple. I, that's what that hair reminds me of, kind of. With his front of his hair ripped off, but let me put his green hair back together. Come on. There it is. Alright. So, but as for articulation, like I said, he looked down that far. Up not that much because of his hair. Uh, his arms can move out that far. 
Can't go any higher, I don't think so. Uh, down that much, and it's like a double ball joint, so it can move around. Uh, rotate 360. Uh, there's a single joint in the elbow, but it bends probably a little bit more than 90 degrees. The elbow pad makes it gets in the way of making it only 90 degrees. So, and then the wrist peg, of course, moves side to side, and if you rotate it, it goes up and down. And, and so now moving down over here to his waist, you can crunch forward that much and back that far. Uh, his other arm has the same range of posability as this arm. Uh, his leg kicks forward, back, moves out about that far for both. Uh, he does have a single joint and knee which bends over 90. Um, ankle moves up and down. There's an ankle pivot. He's got a toe bend. And I think because of his tennis shoe, he's got some shoe rotation. So there's that. So that's all for posability on Deku here. We'll get out the measuring tape and then we'll do some size comparisons. So here's Deku standing here. And if, whoop, if I don't knock over my camera and lamp, uh, if we take it from where his feet would be, he's about just under five and a half inches tall. Yep. Let's get a, another look at that for you guys while we're here. Yep, just under five and a half inches. So I'm moving right along for size comparison. Here he is next to another Midoriya. We have the GameStop exclusive McFarland toys. Uh, all for one. No. One for all. Excuse me. I'm mixing up the terms. One for all. Full cowling. Is it Deku? So you see how they scale together. Next we have his one of his best friends. The uh, McFarland Ochako Uraraka or Gravity figure. And I will say I heard their announcement of them doing a Figma of this one character. And I'm trying to get all of them. She I already pre-ordered and she's on top of my list. Hoping to eventually get the other three, which was Bakugo, Todoroki, and uh, Kirishima. So hopefully I'll get those guys. But stay tuned for the uh, Figma Uraraka review. But continuing on with our size comparisons. Here we have him next to our last Figma review, the Figma Genji, Overwatch Genji. So you can see how they scale together. Next we have the first size comparisons, Figma Deku next to Figma Joker and Queen. So you can see how they scale together. And last but not least for our basic 6 inch scale comparison, here is De Figma Deku next to the Star Wars Clone Wars Black Series Captain Rex. So there we have that. And here is Deku looking like he's ready for a fight. Uh, I gotta thank you guys again for watching this video, it means a lot that you guys watch these videos. Uh, I ho ho hope you guys can't talk today now can I? Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you guys like this review. Uh, I will rec say you can get Figma Deku most places. He might be a little expensive given he is a Figma and it's a bit older. Now I heard there was a pre-ordered version where if you pre-ordered it in time for first release you would have gotten a masked head sculpt but I did not know about this until his second release so I got him second release so I did not get the masked head sculpt. But, either way, I still love this figure. It's amazing. I can't wait to get more from this line. Uh, I always love Figmas. Figmas never let me down. Even, especially with their prices, they never let me down. But, uh, thank you guys again for watching this video. I hope you please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think. And let me know about what you would want to see ne reviewed next. And I'll try and get, to get it and review it. But, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you again for watching my video. And uh, I hope I'll see you guys on the next exciting episode of Bearcat Reviews.